Thanks for watching episode 161, Ray Chalk, Baseball Hall of Fame. He made it. Today's Wednesday, July the 28th, 2021, almost 11 o'clock in the morning. Doing this episode guide on Baseball Hall of Fame players, their stats, how they got in. Ray Chalk, let's take a look at him. Old school, 1912, 1929, 18 years, 1,762 games, 1,345 hits. That's low compared with the ratio of hits per games played. 199 doubles. He only hit 11 home runs in 18 years. Some players hit 11 home runs in two weeks. 593 RBI, 253 Lifetime batting average. How does he get in? 199 doubles, 579 runs scored, only 593 RBI. How does he get into the Hall of Fame? Ray Chalk got voted in. Catcher, valuable. 1,762 games. I think that's how he did it. Defense, a solid catcher. Probably didn't make very many errors. Let's see, his high in RBIs, 61. High in hits, 131. High in runs scored, 57. High in doubles, 25. His stats, in today's age, he would not get voted in. But back then, 1912, 1929, played for Chicago White Sox. He was a valuable catcher. I think that's how he got in. Batting average, 286, 244, 270, 266, 232, 226, 219, 282, 270, 252, 281, 228, 196, 274, 265, 231. Lifetime batting average, 253. The, the writers at that time thought that defense was part of getting into the Hall of Fame. He got in because he's a catcher of 1,762 games. I think that's how he did it. Give him props. All right, that was Ray Chalk. Next player, Roger Branishan. He got in. I think he's a catcher too. And he has the lowest stats, I think, of anyone in the Hall of Fame. This next player I'm going to cover. So stay tuned for that episode. Then, the episode after that will be Shoeless Joe Jackson. you got to watch that one. Thanks for watching. I'm out.